Hello, my name is Neil with the Forstronics blog and welcome to Getting Started with the RN42 Bluetooth module. The RN42 is a great tool if you want to add wireless connections to your projects. Low cost, really small, and really easy to use. In this tutorial, I'm going to cover just connecting to it and communicating to it using a PC uh, wirelessly. I'll cover uh, how to put it in command mode and how to change settings and also read back settings from it. And then finally, we'll hook it up to an Arduino Uno and we'll communicate using a computer wirelessly with the Arduino Uno through the RN42. So here's a picture of the RN42 and one of its variations, the RN42XV. So the RN42 is just the basic module. And as you can see, it's very small. So it's not easy to solder, I'll warn you. So I first went with the base model, the RN42, and now when I buy one, I buy the RN42XV. So I would recommend, unless you have already have a plan of how you're going to prototype it, I would recommend buying it already mounted on something like the RN42XV, which is the same type of configuration as a XB, if you're familiar with the XBs. But using it just standalone, it's very hard to solder, and the wiring you have to use is very small. Here's our setup for just connecting to it and communicating with it wirelessly, uh, just our first basic setup. One great thing about these is they're so easy to use. They're, they act like a wireless connection for communicating serial data. And because of that, right out of the box, you can use them by only accessing four pins. Pin 10 is ground, pin 1, and what I'm showing the RN42XV. Uh, if you have a different variation of it, the pin numbers will be different which are shown in the data sheet. But for the RN42XV, uh, pin 10 is ground, pin 1 is 3.3 volts, pin 3 and 2 are the UART pins for, for communicating with it via serial. In this setup, I just have them shorted together, so any message it gets, it's going to echo it back to the sender. So I'm going to demonstrate this using a Mac. Uh, the process and some of the tools you, you use aren't, aren't much different if you're using a Windows. So if, if we start off here, first we want to pair the RN42 Bluetooth device with our computer to start communicating with it wirelessly from the computer. On a Mac, to access the Bluetooth settings, you just click the Bluetooth emblem up here or go to System Preferences. And I can see my RN42 Bluetooth device show up here. And I, here's are some of the past ones I've used in the past. But all I have to do is power it on. It should show up. I'm going to press pair and basically I'm telling my computer it's all right to communicate with this. We want to communicate with this Bluetooth device. Now certain RN42s and depending on your computer settings may ask for an authentication code. The authentication code, the default one is 1234. That can be found in the user's manual and since I mentioned the user's manual I'll go to it now. So here I access the user's manual through a Spark Funds web page. Now here what we're looking at right here is actually the default settings of it when you first turn it on and want to use it right out of the box. So its baud rate is 115,200, 8 bits, no parity bit, one stop bit. So with those settings in mind, I want to set up my terminal program. So you're going to need a serial terminal program to communicate with it. And these can be found, I'm going to use CoolTerm. These can be found for Windows or Mac and they're free. And it basically is a window that allows you to connect to a serial device, whether it's wired or wireless, and communicate with that device. So first I'm gonna to go to my connection settings. So I'll go to options, and here's where I'm gonna tell it, the terminal which serial device to connect to. Now, if you're first using, if this is the first time you're using the Bluetooth device, you always wanna hit rescan serial ports. I'll go up here. Uh, and you can see my various, this, these are all Bluetooth devices, but I want to connect to my RN42 one, which is RNBT. Remember, I'm using the RN42 uh, XV module. If you're using just the RN42, it'll show up as uh, Firefly. So here I'll select that. I already have my baud rate set to what we just saw in the user manual. I have my, my parity bit set, my stop bit set. So I'm good to go there. I'm also just going to show you briefly the terminal settings. I'm just going to use raw mode, which means anything I type is sent out right away. And I want I want local echo. That means I want to see what I type on my terminal. So I'm going to press OK. 
So I'm going to hit connect and I'm connected to my RN42 Bluetooth device. So I'm wirelessly connected to it. So if you remember our setup, we only connected four pins. We have ground, our power supply, and we have our two serial pins shorted. So anything I type, I should just get it echoed back. So I type T, I hit return, another return happens. I should just echo it back. Let me show this in line mode. So this will allow me to uh, type a line in. So I'll type in a line, I'll press return, test, and we see test is echoed back. So uh, stop copying me, and that's just echoed back. Here we paired the Bluetooth device with our computer. We connected to it using a serial terminal, and now we're just getting our commands echoed back. Let's communicate with the Bluetooth device in command mode. So I'm going to still use my serial terminal to do that. And what I can do in command mode is I can actually send commands to change the settings in the Bluetooth device and also read back the settings. All this that I'm about to go over can be found in the user manual. So first I need to actually, I'm going to disconnect from my device and turn it off and restart it because you have to go into command mode 60 seconds after you turn on the device. So I disconnected from it. I'm going to clear my data and I'm going to turn it back on and then connect to it in command mode. So I'm now connected to my Bluetooth device again and I'm actually going to want to go back to raw mode and I'm not, I don't want it to do local echo. Actually, I do want it to do a little black go. To go in command mode, I simply type dollar sign three times, and if the command mode entering was successful, the Bluetooth module will return CMD, showing that it's in command mode. Now, one thing I can do is, well, I should mention first, the commands, if you want to change a setting, it starts with an S for set. If you want to get a setting or get a current setting, it starts with G. So if I want to get the name, I type GN for get name. Uh, I put a comma and then I press enter. And the module returns its name. It's RNBT41AD. So what I want to do is I actually want to change the name. So one thing I can do to change the name is instead of GN, I press SN. I'm going to do comma, and I'm going to name it to FT for Forstronics and BT for Bluetooth, Forstronics Bluetooth. Now, if everything went fine, it returns A-OK. -okay. And I can check it by doing get name again. So now my module's name is FTBT. Now, that's not a great name because if another module has that name, it's going to cause problems. So they have a command that allows you to set its name and then it automatically tacks on uh, the last four digits of its serial number. So that command is S minus and I just have to type in FTBT and AOK. -okay. So what that did was it changed the name to FTBT and then added the four serial, last four of the serial to make it a very unique name. And once again I can check that by just pressing GN. So now my name is FTBT and we can see the, the serial numbers. You can see that was part of its previous name here. Let me get out of command mode and to get out of command mode I'm going to do minus three times, press enter. It says N to tell me that I'm out of command mode and now I should start seeing things echo again. So now let's move on to communicating with an Arduino Uno using the Bluetooth module and the serial terminal. Okay, now we want to communicate uh, with an Arduino Uno wirelessly uh, using the RN42. And here's the schematic on how we're going to do it. Once again, the RN42 is very easy to use, so we just need to power it and we need to connect it to ground. And then we just need to connect the Arduino serial pins to the RN42 serial pins. Now there is one caution here though. The RN42 uses 3.3 volt logic, the Arduino uses 5 volt logic, so when we transmit from the Arduino to the RN42, we could damage it because it's, it's rated for a lower voltage. So what I did is I, I created a simple voltage divider to perform what's known as level shifting. So we want to shift 
the level of our logic from 5 volts to 3.3 volts to communicate. One of the easiest ways to do that is with a voltage divider. So I have 5K and 10K. Basically, that's going to turn 5 volts to 3.333333 volts, and that's not going to damage my RN42. So voltage divider is there to level shift the logic level. I actually have a tutorial on level shifting if you want to check it out that covers a couple different methods of how to do it. One thing you might be saying is, well, the RN42 is only putting out 3.3 volt logic and Arduino is rated for 5 volts. Yes, but, but the minimum threshold for Arduino, I believe, is something like 2. I don't know, 7 or 5 volts. Even though it's only 3.3 volts, the Arduino will still read it as a high. Okay, let's look at our code and let's communicate with our Arduino. So here's our Arduino code. I'll begin my serial COM port on my Arduino at uh, the same baud rate that the Bluetooth is working at. I'm then going to create a string variable. I'm then just going to do a loop that's going to wait for serial data to be available. So it's just listening for serial data, the Arduino is. And so once the Bluetooth module gets wireless serial data from my computer, the Arduino will read it in, store it in a string. And then what I'm going to do is I just, I'm looking for certain words. So I say if there is information in the string, I'm then going to read it. So I'm going to look for hi Uno, and then the Uno is going to answer with hello Neil. Uh, if I type in the meaning of life, the Arduino is going to tell me what the meaning of life is. And then if I type in anything else, it's just going to give me syntax error. So if you used uh, computers in the 80s or early 90s, you would recognize syntax error. Okay, so that's my Arduino code. Pretty simple. Uh, and it's, it's meant to be pretty simple for this demo. But the whole idea is, how could this be used for other things? Well, with this connected to my Arduino, I could then get readings from a sensor, such as a temperature sensor. I could also control motors, so I could control a robot or a remote control car. This basically makes this wireless serial connection to the Arduino, and you can access it from a computer or from a smartphone because there's Bluetooth APIs for Android and, and iOS. So once again, this is an example. Let's take a look at that example. Okay, here is my terminal that I'm going to use to communicate with my Bluetooth module wirelessly. And then, of course, since I'm communicating with the Bluetooth module, I'll be communicating with the Arduino Uno. So I'm going to clear my earlier data. I'm then going to reconnect. I'm connected. So in my terminal settings, I'm going to go to line mode instead of raw mode because I want to be able to type full statements. Okay, so I'm connected. I'm in uh, my line mode, so I'll type in, as an example, I'll type in Hi Uno, and I get the reply back from the Uno I've expected. Hello, Neil. Uh, I'll type in meaning of life. Uh-oh, I didn't type in something right. Oh, I need to put a question mark at the end. That is the mistake I made. So what is the meaning of life? Money, guns, hoes. Okay, and then of course, as we already saw from an example, if I type in any other data, I just get syntax error. Syntax error. That was pretty easy. Using the terminal, we can communicate with the Bluetooth module right out of the box using an Arduino Uno. It's very simple using the serial APIs in the Arduino to create a wireless Arduino and so we can communicate with it. One thing I would point out is if you're using the Arduino IDE, you will actually see the Bluetooth connection show up here as a programming port. It's not gonna work. If you try to program it through this programming port, you'll get an error. There is a way to do it and set it up. It's, it's beyond the scope of this tutorial, but just to note that you know, once you connect the RN42 to the Arduino serial connection, you can't just use it to program the Arduino. Well, that's it for getting started with the RN42 Bluetooth module. Once again, my name's Neil. If you're watching this video on YouTube, you could go to my blog. You can see the address there to access the Arduino code or the schematics. For more content, for more tutorials, for more projects, uh, check out my blog or my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.